everybody. I hope you're well on this sunny July afternoon and if you are in the UK or um, anywhere hot for that matter you're managing to keep cool. It's been a bit of a scorcher hasn't it? Um, today I thought I'd just talk to you a little bit about my favourite tools to use. Um, if you've been following me on Instagram or any of my social media for a while then you'll know that my favourite tool to use are marker pens and I started using them when I was pregnant with my first child and I was finding sitting at a desk with my big belly quite hard so I migrated to the sofa but obviously taking a pan of paints and water and a brush and a pad to the sofa isn't going to work so I started using sharpie markers um, I was drawing every day I did a hundred day and a hundred day project with my sharpies just picking random colours and I got quite into it but at the end of that project, I was also starting to realise the limitations of just using a felt style marker pen and started to look into um, what else I could do with them. And not with those particular, but with, with marker pens in themselves. And I discovered Posca markers and the joys of the paint pen. So ever since then, paint markers have been my absolute favourite thing to use. And I've got through quite a few different brands. I'm going to talk about my favourites and then quickly at the end I'll just go through others that I've tried that I like but don't use so much and others that I've tried that I don't like and you know not for any fault of their own but just because they're not right for my work. Um, so yeah I started with Posca and then I found some others that I liked as well the Liquitex paint marker and I'll talk about both of those and pros and cons and what I like and don't like about them and which are my favourites and um, if you are looking to start using paint markers or you would like to expand your range of markers that you use um, I hope this is useful to you. Okay let's go. So as I mentioned earlier when I um, started to find sharpies a little bit limiting I looked around for other styles of marker pen and I came across the Posca which I'm sure many of you know or have come across. They are a really versatile water-based paint marker um, and they're, re they're very opaque. You can draw on pretty much any colour and the pens will sharp. Sometimes you need to go over a couple of times just to make the colour a little bit more vibrant, but they just have this amazing opacity that makes them a really useful marker to have. And they come in three different nib widths. You can get these, just make sure that's in focus. These one, uh, 0 0.7 millimeter, so it's a one M, um, which can do a really fine line. I think you can get them um, in even more of a fine line as well, an actual fine liner. I might have that wrong, but I think you can. And you can also get them with a brush nip as well um, which I have used in the past but unfortunately I did find they they do dry up quite quickly so I haven't really used those but I imagine if you got the hang of them they'd be quite a useful tool to have um, so yeah they have that really fine fine line and then you can get these um, one point it says 0 0.9 to 1.3 millimeters so that's a bit more of a, a thicker line and then you can get these chunkier ones. Focus that for you. Um, they are 1.8 to 2.5 millimeters, so you can get a nice. You can vary the line with those. They also come in a really great range of colors as well. Um, I've got quite a few, as you may have seen in the opener to the video. Um, but the colors don't always go across all of the nib widths so I think like this colour you can only really get in this thickness not in the really fine ones although I, to be fair I haven't shopped for Sharpies, Sharpies, Posca for um, a few months now you never know they might have bought them out by now but yeah these are some of the these two especially are some of the newer colours that went around when I first started using them so I was very excited to find them and of course I bought them in nearly every colour. You can also get these giant chisel tipped ones as well, which are, if I can get the lid off, great. And I actually really like using a chisel tip because they are so versatile, you can get so many different line weights out of them. 
Um, so that's the Posca. But the only thing about Posca is that they are not light fast. And obviously, making artwork that you're going to sell, um, you need them to be as light fast as possible. And so I started to look around for um, more light fast paint markers. And that's when I came across my very favourite paint markers, which are the Liquitex. Um, it's professional acrylic markers and they are light fast tested it's all there i'll move up a bit hang on Let's see if i can get that in focus for you without jiggling the camera around too much they are all light fast tested um this one you can see has a light fastness rating of excellent and it's opaque they do come in different um make sure that's in focus as well they do come in different um What's the word? Opacity. So this one, this fluorescent pink is translucent and also fluorescent colours are never light fast. I don't know why that is. It's something I read on the internet and yeah, they. I think it's just because of the vibrancy of the colour. It just can't be light fast, which is a shame because I like to use fluorescent inks quite a lot in my work, but um, you know, I have to compromise somewhere. And, but most of them are very good on the light fast rating um, which really drew me to them so anyway the other thing I like about them is something that I know is a bit of a marmite um, thing for a lot of artists and that is the nibs they are also a chisel nib this one's a fairly new one I don't know if you can see that it's actually quite sharp looking it does have a little bit of fraying around the edge and that's because some of these pens you do have to pump them quite hard to get the ink out and it produces quite a nice brushy effect which is what makes me love them even more though i have heard some artists really hate them personally though as um i move my work forward and i'm wanting to take it into a more painterly space these are the next best thing to a brush and paint to me um I don't know if it's the way that I pump them, but some of mine have just ended up incredibly raggy. And that's not one of the worst ones, actually. This one, I think, is the worst. Look at that. Can you see? And I know that this sort of thing would drive some artists absolutely nuts. But what I really love about these pens is that you never quite know what you're going to get out the end. And that, I find, just stops me being such a perfectionist in my work. Um, I just really enjoy using them and again with the chisel tip it means you can get the fine lines or the fatter lines and they don't just come in this size oh, this one's leaked a bit they also come in these monster sizes which I just absolutely love to use especially when it comes to making bigger work and again these can do they can be very dainty if they want to, look at that. Or you can have the medium weight lines. So those are my favourite markers. Um, and another way I like to use them as well, which, I haven't used that one, I've got a newer one, is um, another thing that I think is really great about these. So I can pump the ink out, and as you can see, I'm having to pump quite a lot to get any out and sometimes I don't normally pump on my work actually I usually have this notebook on the side which is where I do all the ink pumping because sometimes you can be pumping away and suddenly all the ink will just rush out it's almost like it's kind of holding and then they, all the ink goes let's go at the end but this is something I also love to do with them as while well. they're wet it's just mixing them on the page and it just gives this really nice effects and I know it then leaves a little bit to be desired by that colour but you know it comes off quite quickly back to normal um, but yeah that's another thing I like to do when I'm using these pens it's just to I call it paint smooshing smooshing it about just makes it a, gives it a bit more depth which is something you can do with the Posca, but because they're not 
light fast. I don't tend to use them so much in my work. You'll notice as well that the difference with these for me compared to using paint is that I've got my hand on it already and they're dry. That was something that I've discovered since trying to use paints again to get a more painterly feel in my work that I'm far too impatient. Like I love that I can go over this and it's dry already. That one's not quite so I won't do that yet. Um, but it just means I can make work really quickly and I can layer. Can I show you? Where's my white one gone? Here it is. You know, they're really opaque. You can get some really great effects going. Sorry about that snap in the background. We have a fly zapper in our kitchen because we live next to open countryside. So it, um, we get a few, quite a few flies coming, especially when they've cut the fields, which has been done in the last few days. And then they did muck spreading. So that attracts the flies. And um, they sometimes come into our house. So we have a little fly zap on top of the fridge and zaps them away. So that's what you can hear if you hear a, a zapping sound every now and then. Um, so these liquid texts as well also come in an amazing range of color, array of colors. I think they've got 50 colors, which is a really decent amount of colors. Although of course, 50 is never enough, is it? You always want some more. Um, so backtracking a little bit, because the only thing with pens is that they have plastic barrels. And obviously we're all very concerned these days about the amount of plastic that is being used in the environment. Um, I did contact Liquitex and ask them if they could be refilled um, because I noticed that they also had this range of inks. Um, and I'd, before I contacted them, I didn't check which colors they have in the inks range. I just presumed that maybe you could fill the pens with the ink. Now, they did tell me that that can't be done, but I only found that out recently is probably because the inks don't come in the same colours as the pens, but some of them do. Obviously, I've got titanium white here. Um, and so I tested it out and I bought some titanium white and I've refilled this and it works. And then I got to thinking, <coughs> they have these 50 colours, but obviously, I don't know if you ever find... Um, there's an entire range of colours and there's loads of them. Never quite the one you want. So the Liquitex markers have this pale pink, which is lovely. It's a really nice kind of rosy, soft pink. But I really like a juicy pink and they didn't have one. So I decided to make my own. And I had this um, white pen just kicking around. And... Ooh, paper there. I had this white, oh there we go, that's why I never blob out on the page. But I had this white one kicking around and I decided to try it and make my own. So I had the white ink and I added a couple of drops of the fluorescent pink. Can you see those inks there? And it made this lovely pink colour here, which I'm really pleased with and I actually use quite a lot. I would suggest if you do try making your own ones that you keep um, a note of the ratios that you use um, because it could get really hard to recreate it. So I kept a note of the ratios for this one, but then I also made a more juicy purple pink, purpley pink because the lightest purple that the Liquitex range has is this one, which is lovely. I really like it, but it wasn't quite fulfilling the needs of what I wanted. So I decided to make my own, which as you can see has a, is a bit more pink. And I made it that color because I wanted to color match it to, although I've not done a great job of color matching it, it is much more similar than that one to this Tombow marker. Um, so yeah, as you can see, the end of this one's getting a bit raggy as well now. But the other great thing about these is that when the nibs do get raggy, you can just buy some more. I'm going to focus on that for you. They come in bullet tips and chisel tips. Personally, I prefer the chisel tips, and I do wish that you could buy a pack of just chisel tips, but um, I've yet to experiment. I'm a bit of an experimenter. I could chop, chop down these uh, bullet tips and see what I can do to make them into a chisel tip. I will try that and let you know how it goes, actually. Um, so yeah, 
if the ends do get raggy and you want to refill your pens or make new colours, you can just buy new, do new nibs for them as well. Because I'm very conscious that using pens, I probably use more plastic than the average artist, but um, making these new colours or refilling the pens is a way that I'm trying to combat that and keep my conscience a little bit more clear. I mean, I could just paint, but after having used pens for so long, I find that I'm just much more dexterous with a pen than a brush at the moment. Um, yeah, painting's something that I have to improve on. So those are my favorite types of paint marker, the Liquitex and the Posca. I have tried others. I will just show you some of those, which, um, so this is a Schneider. And I tried this because again, the Posca have a nice pale pink, but it's not quite, it's a little bit more pastely. There we go. Never blob on the page, folks. It's got a lot of blue in it. I don't know if my camera's picking it up with this sunshine coming around. Whereas this Schneider one, as you can see, has a bit more of a, I don't know, would you say that's a, a yellowy or fluorescent undertone? So that's why I bought that one, and that actually works just as well as the Posca markers. I've not tried too many of the other colours of that. I think I tried the purple as well. You can see I'm always trying to find the perfect purple and the perfect pink. Um, and also I do use this burgundy colour quite a lot in my work. I like to um, find different materials in similar colours that I use because you never know what sort of application you might need it for. Um, you know, there might be a, I've got this colour in the Liquitex, I hope this is in focus, um, but yeah, with that really raggy nib, there's no way I'm going to get a nice fine line out of that, so if I can do it with this instead, it just makes a bit of a difference when it comes to making my work. So those are the Schneiders. I've also tried these Yomo. Yo no, sorry, pens, which um, come in really lovely colours, like a quite a different range to the Posca and the Schneider. Um, knowing they're this kind of marker compared to the Liquitex, I thought maybe I'd just try them out. But actually, I don't like them that much. The ink is quite, it sits on the paper quite in quite a dense way. It's very hard to draw over the top of, so... Well, the colours are lovely. I think if you're going to do flat work and you don't really want to layer colours, they'd be absolutely spot on because the colours are really nice, but they don't work for me. Um, another one I've tried is the Montana. Although, as you can tell, I've not used this one for a while. They're nice markers and I think maybe I should give them a go again. But while I'm in this phase of wanting my work to be a bit more brushy and painterly, I probably won't. If you've used them, please do. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. I'd love to hear what you think of them. Um, I think that's, oh no, there is one more type of paint marker I've tried a lot. Um, these are Pilot Pintors, which just look so cute on the shelf. I mean, they are the cutest ones I've got, I have to say. Look at them, they're just really sweet. But I only bought a handful of these because their color range is very similar to Posca. That's a better pink. Um, I didn't, as you can see, that colour there, it's very similar to that. I didn't buy any more. I was full into Posca territory, but if you want your desk to look really cute, then I think these ones are the ones to go for. <laughs> so that's it. That's my favourite paint markers. Um, perhaps I should have demonstrated how I filled these up. I will just show you that quickly. So... You can just unscrew them like that. Top them up there and screw it back on. Um, yeah, if you have any questions about the paint markers I like to use or um, any tips or anything else, then please do leave me a comment and um, yeah, I'll do my best to answer. Okay, thank you. Bye.